Okay, hi guys. Um, it's James here once again, and um, today I'm gonna I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to um, uh, add a 3D text or uh, to make a 3D text in Blender 2.8a. This also works for previous uh, version of Blender, and um, I would appreciate you guys pay attention to this. And thank you for watching the video. Once again, subscribe me and like this video if it helps you. Um, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to exit out of this by clicking anywhere around here. And we're going to have to delete this. If you're new to this, what you're going to do is click the, the Dell button or the X button. And just click on that. Or click hit enter. Okay, so after that then we're gonna have to go to the top here when you get to the top then you're gonna see the text uh, tab just click on that okay so when you get there then you're gonna have to change the camera motion using the your your middle uh, your scroll wheel uh, button on your mouse so that's what you use to change the camera okay uh, to change, uh, to move around, to rotate, and all that. Okay, okay. So to edit this, all you gotta do is click on tab, the tab button, T A B. When you hit that, and you, yeah. Then we're gonna have to type a word. You can type anything you want to edit. Okay. So in my case, it's gonna be James Pro. James Pro HD. Okay, so when you hit that, um, then you're going to, um, then when you hit that, then you can hit back the, uh, you can hit the tap button once again to get back to um, the object mode. Okay, so when you get the object mode, then you're gonna probably you're gonna have to, um, uh, you're gonna have to rotate it. I like to rotate it, yeah. Okay, so rotate that James Pro HD. Okay, then on here, then when you do that, to make this look 3D, you know, have those depth effect and all that, you know, then you're gonna have to go um all you're gonna have to go here to the half uh, tab on here. I hope you guys can see this have on here okay so this says offset this yeah then you're gonna have to go to this um, tab called the geometry tab and when you get there you're gonna you're going to see offset um, extrude uh, depth and resolution okay so the first thing we're gonna have to do now is get a depth because that 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 is what we um, need for now so I want you guys to start with uh, uh, let's say 0 0.90 oh as you guys can see it's not it's not what we want so we're gonna have to go back and re-edit okay so let's go back to 0 0.090 let's hit enter hmm that kinda looks better but we could go a little bit lower, so let's go 0 0.0. Let's let's do 30. 30. Hmm, that kind of looked 3D, and that's for the depth. Now we're gonna have to extrude. Ext excuse me, guys. Um, extrude this. Click on the extrude button, and you're gonna have to click 0 0.020. Let's do that first. Yeah, we, I think we can go a little bit further. Um, you can either use this click right here to change the depth, or click that. You might want to hit a couple of times, you know, to change that. Okay, okay. So let's let's move away from. Okay, okay. Let's let's try one. Okay, one one. Enter. Okay, one. I think one one is is fine. As you guys can see, we have a solid text uh, on here 
and to see what it looks like um, uh, you could either hit the HAP12 button or if you're using a keyboard that has other keys using the F12 button then you, you could hold your FN button and click the F12 but if you're fine it's the F12 button you know to see what it looks like okay that's what it looks like okay so as you can see we have the the light at the back the shadows in front of us the light at the top and all that so to click away from here hit the escape button escape okay so we're back to this side to change the resolution of that um, hit a net and I think 9 is the max resolution I like to do with 9 so as you can see the resolution makes it looks a little bit more smoother compared to let's go back to 0 you see that that's 0 now let's go to like 10 okay 10 uh, uh, wow we can go a little bit further it's, it's pretty good I think 15 or something oh that's pretty interesting I didn't really notice that uh, let's, see, let's, let's see what happens when we hit 50 oh 32 is the eyes resolution we can go okay so let's hit half 12 and see what it looks like as you can see it took a little bit while to render um, but it looks better yeah you might want to go you know like 10 or 20 you know because in most cases it's um, not really noticeable or not necessary sometimes and the last one I want you guys to see is the offset so to edit the offset let's try because I've tried this before and it didn't work well so we're gonna have to try 0 0.0 um, 0 0.0030 I think that's 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 3 not 30 uh, let's try all the time 0. Point uh, zero big thing. Mm, as you can see it's it actually increases the uh, the space in between them so we can go a little bit lower uh, 0 0.050 uh, let's go uh, okay let's go 20 mm, 20 looks a little bit better than, than the way it was before okay so so that's how to make uh, 3D text using Blender 2.6 or previous versions. And my next tutorial will teach you guys how to add colors and make a 3D intro for your um, organization, uh, video production, or your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Once again, subscribe. It's James, and thank you.